So we got two big old boxes of organic lasagna boiling for 14 minutes. And yep. uh, I don't know if it'll all fit in this pan, so I got two pans. We have all the ingredients, you know, the spinach, the mushrooms. Yeah, we're gonna be doing it. We're we're doing it, guys. I don't know what else to say. It's kind of like a festive occasion because uh, I haven't made these in so long, and it's Christmas. There's nothing more bachelorific than lasagna. It's the number one bachelor food. It is. So I'm gonna get used to making it from now on. Cause guess what? Everybody stole all the like firm sea salt cheese there's the dry crumble cheese and the wet crumble cheese most of the dry crumble cheese was bought up but there's just a little bit so we have one of those so we can put it on top of the lasagna then the wet crumble cheese as you know has to be stacked in there anyway so boom everybody stole all my festive cheese so now i make festive lasagna out of crumble cheese now i make festive breaks out of their bones yeah every christmas all the Cheese is gone. Um, Last Christmas, they stole my heart as well. I think it's like you just put down the tomato sauce in a layer and then... Yeah. Yeah, and then some of the uh, yeah noodles, and then you start putting on your sauce with whatever on it. So, like, we have, of course, Italian herbs. Boom. So... That's going to be pretty exciting. That's going to taste so good. These are sort of like fresh and then ground. So then they're a paste. So then they aren't dried. It tastes so much better. Unbelievable difference. Um, That's about all there is to it. I mean, I guess I'd get out the crumble cheese. Oh, yeah. Why are you looking at me? Supposed to be finding crumble cheese. Let's see, we got the dry crumble cheese. I think I'll add this on at the end, you know, on top to melt. Um, we have bamboo. I don't think that's, I'm not gonna put the high mountain bamboo in there. I'll keep that for stir fry, that's too weird. So we might have to go through, like, I don't know how many of these. 17? No, like three, I don't know. Yeah. There was one that's open right here, so we have three. Okay. We can put this back because we don't need it till the end. Okay, we need to open these up. Yep. I like this tomato sauce, Winco Foods brand one, because um, it has just the best flavorant added. It's not plain, it has uh, spice, whatever that is, sea salt, of course. Um, I don't know, it's just delicious beyond belief. Just to mix that around. Okay, another thing we have to do, we have to get the uh, spinach uh, into a bowl because it's mixed with the other salad mix. We don't have exclusive spinach for this, so. Yeah, it's 50 50. <clears throat> yeah. So we shall do that. See, like, we don't want Swiss chard and lettuce in there. Gotta pick out all the spinach real quick. So let's do that. Hmm. The quickest way to do it will probably be to do it, you know what I mean? Probably look for the Disgusting Swiss chard. I don't think we want any of that in it, mode, especially. So I'll aim for getting all the Swiss chard removed. Ah, I need another pin or something. I'll use this. I think that's clean. Oh, 
Okay, I mean, yeah, fine. Yeah, lettuce gets all slimy and disgusting in a bad way instead of a good way. And like these things, I don't know. Whatever, let's not risk it. These things, hell no. I think it's just more lettuce. I mean, I've watched people make uh, lasagna quite a few times, so... Definitely one of the easier things to do if you don't have to pick through a million leaves. I want spinach though. I don't want to drive all the way down to the store, so it's faster to do this. Steal all the spinach out of the salad mix. They don't deserve any spinach. Come on now, Eamon. Yeah, we know they don't. Secretly, we know this. I mean, she's always buying extra spinach anyway, so she can just buy more spinach. She's so obsessed with it. Well, I mean, I don't know why she need to buy more if it's in this food. But she's going to be eating it too, I mean, logically speaking. No, she shall never eat the secret lasagna. The pact has been made. Yeah, I mean, I wish. Shh. <laughs> I wish all lasagna was for me. That'd be nice. All lasagna was signed away to Ammon Ron before times. Now the tomb is sealed. He is buried with all of his a thousand lasagna pans. It is his destiny. It's like picking strawberries or peas all over again. You gotta identify and, you know, a kill for maximum maximum food gains. Sixty seconds till the noodles are done. It's a race against the clock. No, not really. Who cares? Well, who am I rushing? There's no 30 minutes on this Christmas special. This could go on for five hours. That'd be kind of hard to up upload, maybe. Like, what is that? Is that a... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's, it's not spinach. It's a mystery leaf. I don't know. <laughs> or is it spinach? It could be. I think it's a type of spinach. It kind of feels spinachy. Blowing, blowing, blowing. I don't know. Let's risk it. I'm bold. Ten, nine. Well, it's okay. Chef, hands down, whoever has picked the most spinach out of the ingredient pile will now be crowned Chef of the Year. Woo, I got it! Every slate of spinach, new record, everybody, cheer! Oh, woo! Oh, what an accomplishment, my heart's racing. I mean, how did I move my limbs that fast? It was incredible. What happens if you overcook the noodles? Death. Death? It actually kills you? No, um, but, oh, you know, strain those, of course. Okay. Insane in the strain. Oh, they look all like, you know, seaweed in the darkness. In the darkness where the seaweed lies. So what's next, Mr. Emin? Emin well, the Raw of the I Smackdown? Mean, I was lying. There is more spinach. I just wanted to sound epic. Yeah. I did get quite a bit, though. I mean, you can never have enough spinach, though. Yeah, that's true. These mystery leaves. It's not spinachy enough. There's these, look at these pockets of spinach hiding deep from the Juden. Look at that. Pure spinach gains. How dare they? Could <laughs> this be a lesson to you? You gotta know how to root them out. <laughs> That's uh, highly appropriate. 
They're no, very kinky. it's the Jews rooting them out this time. Uh, it's I the see. other way around. It's fine. It's just payback. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. I've got this amazing first person <laughs> perspective. It's incredible. It really is, actually. It's yeah. like you're in the Ammon's brain. You see all of his processes. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You realize I'm just a trained seal. Arc, arc, bitch. But you won't hear that on. Uh, Celebrity Apprentice. On Shark Tank, it should, we should make a cooking Shark Tank, you know? It's only cooking. Yeah. <laughs> they come in and they make a recipe and then they say that they'll either sponsor them or not. Yeah. It's delicious. Then they tell them how they should fix the recipe. It's true. And then they do it right in front of them while they whip them. <laughs> whip them. <laughs> Harrison Ford pulls out his whip. <laughs> yes, he's one of the judges. He's like, you got me out of bed at like 9 in the morning for this, I'm going to whip you. <laughs> Don't you know, it's faculty tradition. I'm Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's, that's how crotchety he's gotten. Yeah. Okay, that's that's enough spinach. We're good. We are. <laughs> Look, it's all full, I guess. It is. Okay, you can get that off my shoulder. <laughs> no, I can't. Now, now the rest of the show is operated this way. <laughs> yeah, but you're standing behind me. It's not actually mounted there. I wish. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, I got it. I got it. You can move. Yeah. <laughs> that's so annoying anyway. Titty, <laughs> titty FPV. Yeah, but my titties are saggy right now. I'm in sumo mode. Yeah, I know. Let me just... Okay. That feels better. I guess we should drain these. So I gotta put these noodles somewhere else. Or I mean these leaves. I'm so organized. That's not big enough. That's what I was saying the whole time. I've got uneven blood flow in my brain. Some places it's uh, high and other places it's insanely high. Makes it hard to think. And it's not high blood pressure. Let's get the perspective of you washing it. <laughs> oh no. Gotta make sure there's no potato residue on there. Okay. I can pour the excess water in the can. Oh, look at those slippery eels. So delicious. What? Holy! Some tasty eels. Oh, hot. Yeah, that's why we had to wait a while for them to cool off anyway. Yeah. Be kind of dangerous. Oh, yeah. Danger is my middle name, and only in the kitchen, though. Danger is my middle name. In every room of the house, it changes. Danger is my middle name, but only when it comes to sex. <laughs> my middle name is uh in the bedroom what would it be um i don't know i don't have any witty comments it's too late for that now we're already doing it <laughs> okay um bigfoot <laughs> <laughs> you forced me no! You forced it. I hate it. <laughs> okay, I think we just want the tomato sauce on the bottom, and then we put the noodles, and then we smear the uh, Italian herbs on it, and we 
We are are you supposed to put sauce between each layer? Is that not how lasagna works? Yeah, then you put more sauce on top of that. You see? So then these herbs and spices soak right into the noodles, you see? Mm-hmm, I see. Yeah. More characters in video games need to go like this as they're talking, you know, gesturing, you know? Yeah, very accurate to human emotions. <laughs> it's better than what they do in those Sonic games. <laughs> <sighs> Well, uh, when will the noodles be ready, slave? Well, we gotta cool them off steadily. Not too fast. First you use hot water. And then, so they don't realize what's happening, you slowly crank up the cool water like you're reverse cooking them. I see. Is that what they did to, uh, the Twin Towers? What's what they do to, you know, um... You know, let reptiles make them more docile for moving them out of areas. Get cool them off. I thought you let them fuck first. Uh, that helps too, I guess. That always works. Okay, so I guess we just lay the noodles on there. Let me just uh, use a plate though so I don't make a mess. Plates aren't allowed. That's not part of the chef challenge. Uh, what? No, you must only use your bare hands! I didn't realize we were doing this in the wild. See... Eamon, did you... Think about the loop. Bear Grylls is jealous because I'm going to make a mountain next to me full of bears. And I'm going to go there and cook the meals. And I'll call myself Bear Grylls. It'll yeah, be better it's, it's to your show where you grill for bears. Yeah, the gr bear grilling show. You don't eat the bears. That's disgusting. You eat with the bears in the synagogue of, you know, the mountains. It's very, uh, holy. Mmm, noodly. Here, lay those sluts down. Oh, I will. Lay me down. I'm using the advanced technique where I'm going to do them first this way. Oh, you gotta make the zippers, you know. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta link up the zippers. It's very important. Whatever. Zip. Man, that looks like when I get my penis caught in my zipper. Ouch! At while it's hot from just getting out of the laundry as well. Ouch. You ever had the old hot penis zipper? Do not speak of such things in the era of Mordor. <laughs> the era of man has just begun. The, the time of elves is nearly over. Because they have genetics that are superior to ours, apparently. And we don't fuck them enough, anyways. <laughs> the years of incest have made our people weak. You know that's right. <laughs> Yeah, but they got special crystal bones that they can, you know, vibrate light through and, and act, you know, like they got, they can, I don't know, what what does she do? Arwen, when she turns like waves into horses or something? Yeah. That's pretty incredible. I turn horses into waves of blood. No, of semen. Whoa, you just, how do you make these horses come so quick and so dastardly? It all starts... With <laughs> it all starts with a massage gun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Think how quickly you could tame a wild stallion if you like, you know, get it real high on some tasty mushrooms and weed and stuff, and maybe some, you know, some poppy flowers, and then you come in with a massage gun when it's all sedated, and you like make it feel real nice. Yeah, you know? like you want to be sedated with a Game Boy. Yeah, I want to be sedated with a Game Boy. You know? Yeah, that's what all the horses will be thinking, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay, um... You always gotta clean everything 75 times when you're in a kitchen with non... non sequiturs. That's a hilarious joke, but no one's gonna laugh, because... 
they weren't actually alive in the 90s. I don't know, I guess we kind of just evenly smear it back and forth, right? And then, it, you know, it will penetrate the noodles. Is that what they call a dick piercing these days? Penetrating the noodles? Dude, dicks don't work that well for piercings. I know, that's why I'm... What's wrong with people? It doesn't work good. (laughs) That's why I'm saying it's penetrating the noodles. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it makes your dick go flop a flop. Yeah, I guess now we need to... Let's see, are there any other herbs I want to add to this? Uh... Well, I mean, there's like the Mexican herb episode. I can put a little bit, maybe. It's all right. Whatever you want. I'll just put some on the bottom layer. I kind of like its flavor. Smells like success. Okay, cheese it is. Remember guys, this is my first time doing this. Don't judge me. That's the dry crumble? That's the wet crumble. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, the dry wouldn't be so easy to animate. Is this really easy to animate? Like, if somebody was going to take an animation, <laughs> yeah. is this really? Would wet be easier to animate than dry? <laughs> Actually, a little bit, probably. Dry is harder to animate, probably. The way it crumbles into a crispy cross of lead. Um, I guess we want to use the mushrooms, though. We can't forget that. Oh, yeah, and good the point. spinach, yeah. Huh, you gotta use those things. <laughs> This device is so hot. It's burning my fingers so bad. Okay, well, I mean, let's just get the first layer done with all the examples, then we'll jump ahead after that. Yeah. I'll just record each time you finish a layer yeah. as if it magically goes... Bramp, 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 bramp. Yeah. Plus, it's hard to, you know, work fast. Get anything done when the camera's boring into me. When it's boroning into you? Yeah. Hey, might as well snip the bottom off of that. The bottom, you say? With the scissors of destiny? Snip. Yep. Whoa, it snipped him so snippingly. That was incredible. Snip, snap. How much do we want these broken up? I guess I better use the cutting board. Remember, you can't actually cut mushrooms without my signature mushroom and cheese cutting knife. It can't be done. If you don't have a ZZ knife made out of 100% molybdenum, you're screwed. Life will never be as good. Like, how can you even face up to your mother-in-law without the new ZZ knife? It's like ZZ Top even uses this. Come on. Yeah, so anyways, I don't think it really matters that it's chopped that small, but I just don't want too much mushroom flavor in one spot, of course. Makes sense. that. And these bottoms of these mushrooms have a tendency to cling together. So let's get that out of the way. Besides, the bottom layer is what matters. That's the one that's going to bake the best in there, so that's where the key mushroom flavor is going to be achieved. 
Yeah, look at that. That's a nice bottom mushroom layer. Look at that. Yeah. And then we come in with the boom bam with all the spinach lasagnas. We hit them with the lasagnas. With the lasagnas hourglass. Yeah, and remember at this point, you might be thinking, how incredibly sexy is he going to become from eating all this lasagna? You'll find out on Twitter soon enough. Okay, let's see here. Man, look at that. Lettuce leaked past my protocols. I'm thinking Arby's, but also you're supposed to put a little bit of olive oil. I remember that. You're supposed to, you know, snizzer, sizzle that on there. Gotta get some onto this uh, once you get all the first layer on there. Yeah. Yeah. See, I care about a meaty bottom layer. Not meat, though. I don't. I mean, maybe like chicken, fish. I don't know what kind of fish you'd want. Maybe, you know what might be good? Oh, uh, shrimp lasagna. But other people might not be into that so much. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just put more, a little more sauce on there and the next layer and then keep working. Blood, blood. Smells nice. I love the smell of tomato sauce. Yeah. Where did I put my spoon? There it is. That's a different spoon. Yeah, you gotta put so much cheese on here. Like Grant just said, it has to be lifted by a forklift when you try to, you know, put it on the plate. Go, Oh, shit, this shit's too heavy. Oh. We can't let me this delicious teddy cheese go to waste. I mean, yeah, um, and now more tomato sauce. Yeah, that's right. There we go. We'll spread that around a little bit. Put the spoon. Look at that, another layer down. What, I guess just one or two more. I don't know how many can fit. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the edge. On the, I like it oily and crispy on the edges. Picking up like Just a that. little drizzle like that, real sexy like. Yeah, you know that's right. You know what? Not enough tomato sauce. You gotta really smother this. You know, I actually use quite a bit with this. It's true. It's it's kind of like pizza, very similar. Only deeper dish. There's one tomato down. There we go. Even coverage is the key, I guess. So you got to make sure to cross hatch them. See, I got that layer done, and then we're it's doing. It's very the final important. One. It's a structural engineering. If you want to make a good lasagna, you got to cross hatch. I've never seen anybody employ this technique, but that's because they're mortals, and I'm making, you know, Nirvana food of the gods. Yeah, it is so good it'll blow your brains out. All over the wall. You know, Kurt Cobain, he fulfilled his name infinite years later. Everybody thought he was dead. 
but it was just a disguise for the fact that he was going to fire a uh, RPG at uh, Kobe's helicopter. Yeah, it's because he was actually making child porn on that helicopter. Yeah, in the helicopter. <laughs> no, he was producing it. You don't want to blow up the children, you know. <laughs> Oh, of course. He was the very worst of scumbags. Yeah. Trust me. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Remember, you gotta get it all on the edges, you know, like that, so it's all, you know, steamy when it comes out of the oven. Remember, you know, Kurt Cobain had to fulfill his name sometime so that he could finally fulfill his destiny of his new album after he does it called Killing Kobe. It's true. I yep. mean, after, you know, all the zombie masses have cleared the streets... He'll be once again back on the beat. Are we doing another layer? I don't know. It kind of looks like the remains of the chopper, you know, after, you know, Kobe went down. I don't think we can squeeze any more bloodshed into, you know, one, you know, metal sarcophagus. Yeah, that's what she said. But then I made all that sauce and noodle fit. Yeah. You put the cheese on in the last eight minutes. You put the cheese on in the last eight minutes. Remember it or I'll slap your tits. It's kind of coppery, but there's a little bit different color to it this time. Yeah. It's kind of like orange. Maybe a little bit of nickel in there or something. I agree. Pretty sensual. It's high quality cans. Yeah. All right. You see how it's all steamy? Well, now it's about to get all cheesy. Oh, so cheesy. Yeah, you know, that's right. Gonna crumble it all night. Crumble it all night long. Bow, bow, bow. If you weren't crumbling it all night, you ain't doing it right. So crumbly. All right. It's like I'm Crumbelina or something. Tom Crumb and Crumbelina? Yep. So, is he, like, I'm confused. He's Tom Thumb. Yeah. She's Thumbelina. Couldn't she just be called, like, you know, Sally Thumb? Sally Thumb? But Amon, you're you're. It wouldn't have as much thumb in the name if it wasn't Thumbelina. Why couldn't it just be Thumbelino and Thumbelina? Isn't that a little the bit Thumbeliners? more? Thumbeliners. Isn't that too Mexican though? It, yeah. This is a white person story. Oh, you know? that's right. We can't, you know, be relevant and like actually use Latin or anything. No, come on. Are you crazy? I guess I'll just crumble it all. Okay. All the crumbles. What if we never get dry crumble cheese ever again? <laughs> this is our last experience with it forever. Moo hoo ha 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 ha. Well, this is going to be some cheesy delights. I don't know what to say. Dangerously cheesy. Yep. Yep, back in the oven for another cheesy five minutes. Cheesy peasy. Extra breezy. They call me Chester the Cheetah when I fuck because it's so fast and I can get winded after going that fast. Incredible. I think he kind of needs to cook longer. I don't think it's really even close to dawn, so. Okay, well. Whatever. I guess that cheese is going to get kind of blasted then. Yeah, whatever. That's the way life is sometimes. Because I was, like, looking, and I was like, yo, the uh, spinach doesn't look very melted. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have to go longer. Whatever. Dangerously. Lasagna. Yeah. Pretty much. I guess we'll go ten more minutes. See what that looks like. I might do it, or we might have to go another 10 minutes. I don't know. Then we'd be at an hour. Or even beyond. I don't even remember. Uh, crazy. Oh, time is passing. Oh, lasagna is cooking. Better be delicious. Incredible. Perfection has been achieved. I agree. 
Sure looks good. See, I walked to wait an hour for it to cool off, though. I mean, it takes so long to cool off this type of crap. It sure does. Yeah, you have to wait, like, 20 minutes before you put it on the plate, because, like, if you try to, like, dig into it, some fleck will fly off and, like, give you 18-degree burn or something. Pretty much. Yep. Because it's dangerously cheesy. Yeah. There you go. What do you think? I don't know. I need more research. research. Yeah, research and development. Okay, we'll see here. Uh, <laughs> uh, did somebody shoot me? Because I think I'm in heaven. It's actually the most delicious lasagna ever assembled. It's. I, I'm glad we don't have Garfield, or Garfield around. So if we turned all the Avengers into the ingredients of lasagna and assembled them... It still wouldn't be as good as this. It wouldn't. I'm not saying something. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? They are vegetables, after all. Functionally retarded. Yeah.